Welcome everybody, my name is Michael Or. Oh my goodness, I, I can't get out of it while running Kubera. I just want to say welcome everybody, my name is Michael or Kubera, but we have to think of something for the intro. Anyways, Corda, what is Corda? Corda is an open source DLT. What is a DLT? Distributed Ledger Technology. So you might have stumbled upon this video because you just took a college course or you're going to take a college course that's blockchain related. So I just posted a video recently on Kubera actually discussing about how programming, computer science, software engineering, this is the future because even if you don't work in the blockchain industry, guess what? No company that has a CEO with a brain will reject an applicant with blockchain experience because even if they're not related to blockchain or cryptocurrency investing or any of that, they're going to look positively at that. So even if you're not working in the blockchain industry, the fact that you have some experience already puts you at a level way above everybody else. You know why? Because it's new technology. Or even if it's not the next greatest revolution, it makes it seem like you're smarter. And anything is better to have an advantage over your competition while you're seeking a good paying job. So let's get into it. I had a chat recently with a buddy who finished college and one of his blockchain courses was basically pick and choose between three areas. Uh, Corda was one of them and he chose Corda because he noticed that that would probably be good for B2B. The other was Hyperledger and the next was uh, learning about Ethereum Solidity. Solidity is the language that all of these dApps are running from. And if you remember ICO days, uh, the ERC-20 contracts and smart contracts. So that's always fun. If you're taking a course on blockchain, you're going to be learning about smart contracts most definitely. You're, you're going to have the main idea of what crypto is about, privacy, security, how data is stored on blockchains. Maybe you're going to build your own blockchain. So let's get into Corda. First off, the easiest way to remember what it is, this is the business-centric shared ledger of transactions, right? It's different than Ethereum or Bitcoin, completely different than that. You might be familiar with the Hyperledger's Fabric and Quorum. If you're not, don't worry about it. But this is kind of similar to that. So this is specifically for the fintech world. It restricts access to transaction data, which is very, very important if you want privacy. And it's aimed towards the financial world because it handles complex transactions. Porta is designed by R3. Let's switch over to my computer so we can go through their website. All right, so what is Corda? We're on R3's website, open source blockchain platform for business. Join thousands of developers building applications known as core dapps on corda the only open source blockchain distributed ledger platform built for business corda enables businesses to transact directly and in strict privacy using smart contracts reducing transaction record keeping costs and streamlining businesses all right we clicked blockchain dlt 101 what is blockchain blockchain technology enables everyone involved in a transaction to know with certainty what happened when it happened and confirm other parties are seeing the same thing without the need for an intermediary providing assurance and without a need to reconcile data afterwards the two terms blockchain and distributed ledger technology are often used interchangeably and to understand and blockchain it's important to understand dlt the framework that underpins it so what is it and why does it keep asking me it's a decentralized database managed by multiple participants across multiple nodes blockchain is a type of dlt where transactions are recorded with an immutable cryptographic signature called a hash probably by this point in your college career, you already have discovered what a hash is. The transactions are then grouped in blocks and each new block includes a hash of the previous one, chaining them together, hence why distributed ledgers are often called blockchains. Is Corda a blockchain? Transactions on Corda are cryptographically linked or chained to the transactions it depends upon. So by definition, Corda is technically a blockchain with one key differentiator. Corda does not periodically batch up transactions needing confirmation into a block and confirm them in one go. Instead, Corda confirms each transaction in real time. With Corda, there's no need to wait for other transactions, so there's no block interval. Transactions are confirmed immediately. This means that your transaction is not dependent on any others 
increasing both privacy and scalability. So Corda is both a blockchain and it's not a blockchain. Well, why blockchain? Transactions are complex and costly, prone to human error or fraud, inefficient, frequent delays and losses. Blockchain is the solution for many businesses as peers have a single shared ledger. It's very simple. There's a smart contract. You can't really go wrong with that. Owners of the transactions have power to move anything of value freely and instantly. A lot of data eliminates or reduces paper processes, which eliminates a lot of costly fees for companies. And you see why businesses absolutely love Corda. The Corda platform, open source plus enterprise. So what is the Corda platform? As a permission or private blockchain platform, Corda ensures data is shared only with parties who have a need to know. It was designed to bring transparency and trust to interactions while maintaining privacy and security. So need to know is basically clients. Corda Enterprise offers the core attributes of Corda Open Source along with additional business requirements. So 24-7 support. 24-5 support, actually. All right, so I guess it, it's just there on uh, Monday and Friday. So we have the Enterprise Network Manager, Professional Services. Oh, here's certification training and certification. There's a developer community. Well, let's see what kind of training you can get. Learn how to develop a blockchain app with Corda training, business training library, virtual training, and a certification. Uh, view training schedule. I'm curious how long this type is. Corda developer training. This is 1600 bucks, and it's in two days. So this would be different than blockchain courses in college. This is probably for somebody who's not a college student, but already in the workforce and just wants to get the certification just in case they're working with it. Uh, objectives. Upon completion of the core developer training course, students will be provided the key skills necessary to develop financial grade distributed applications on the Corda platform. Prerequisites. Intermediate programming ability in Java or similar. No prior knowledge of distributed ledger technologies or blockchain is assumed. So that's pretty cool. You can start this with zero knowledge of blockchain and that is pretty dope. Now, under develop, we have boot camps, core dep samples. Well, let's look at the samples. Core dep templates, Java core dep template, Kotlin, uh, business network toolkit. All right, let's see. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of tokens using ownable state community core dapps and projects. That's pretty cool. So a lot of people are using it. A lot of businesses, actually. Let's look at these boot camps. So hands-on blockchain tutorials and training. Host your own all right it doesn't really say there's no upcoming so probably the pandemic affected that so let's move on to this hyperledger versus quarter versus ethereum solidity introduction to enterprise platforms ethereum versus hyperledger versus quarter r3 for its use case ether popular with generalized applications and mostly used for peer-to-peer -peer and business-to-customer operations. Hyperledger Fabric, the preferred platform for B2B operations, mainly used in enterprise. R3 Corda runs on a specialized distributed ledger customized platform for the financial industry needs. Governance, carried out by developers DAO, Hyperledger Linux Foundation is in charge and Corda R3 company is in charge. Operation mode for Ether. It's on the public blockchain. No permission is needed. Hyperledger private blockchain network is limited to people with permission and Corda is private blockchain. Permission is needed to access network content. For consensus, for consensus, Ether relies on proof of stake for decision making. Hyperledger, not all nodes in a network must take part in the consensus process. And Corda, only parties involved in a transaction take part in decision making. So Corda is like the most private of the bunch. Smart contracts, Solidity, Hyperledger, Golang, and Corda Kotlin. For its currency, obviously, it's powered by Ether. Hyperledger is no native currency, and Corda has no native currency as well. Corda use case. To better understand Hyperledger versus Corda, it would be essential to note the latter's use case. Corda's main aim is to provide people with a platform with common services while ensuring that any service built on top is compatible with network participants. Corda seeks to eradicate a good number of issues that stifle transactions between businesses by making it possible for businesses to transact by smart contracts. Corda also adheres to the highest privacy and security standards, which explains why it continues to gain a foothold in the fin industry. In an era where the need to protect people's data is vital, the use of blockchain solutions such as Corda continues to grow in prominence. R3, the company behind Corda, has already unveiled Corda Enterprise, a commercial distribution version of Corda. So the basics of Corda, when it comes to programming language, it would be important to note that Hyperledger versus Corda differs a great deal. While Hyperledger relies on Google's Golang language, the Corda platform relies on Kotlin, a programming language that targets JavaScript and JVM. 
By using Kotlin, Corda enjoys a high level of integration as any other programming paradigm. Key features of Corda, it prevents any unnecessary sharing of data on the blockchain as only people with legitimate needs and access have access to a network. Corda platform enables the sharing of data in a network without the need for a central controller. Its consensus is achieved at the level of individuals transacting rather than the entire system. Corda's design comes with regulatory and supervisory observer nodes. Its blockchain platforms support a wide variety of consensus mechanisms, and it's built on industry standard tools. It does not have a native currency. So let's look at some news. Our three quarter partners with Kaleido after Ethereum startup spins out of consensus. This was back in May of 2020. We spun out April 1st. It's been exciting for us to take that step forward. Consensus has been doing some serious belt tightening of late. There has definitely has been a coming together of large blockchain factions of late, particularly between the Ether and Hyperledger communities. It's not entirely novel for R3 to touch on Ether. There was a partnership between Corda and Ethereum-based Truffle last summer, for instance, but generally the communities have kept their distance. So now they're going to Kaleido, which provides so-called consortium as a service, deploying blockchain networks via multiple cloud and hybrid platforms, and is working with Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. Under the new partnership, R3's Corda software and Corda apps will run on Kaleido's digital platform. Kaleido also plays host to the commodities-focused trade finance blockchain Comgo, which includes Citi, ING Bank, MFUG Bank, Shell, and other large corporations. It is also involved in a payments project with Union Bank in the Philippines, whose future has become unclear after consensus shut down operations in India and the Philippines. So we also have NASDAQ adopting Corda blockchain for digital Digital assets exchange software. This was nine months back. NASDAQ has quite a bit of experience in the blockchain distributed ledger technology sector. A year ago, it signed a deal with Microsoft Azure blockchain, and it supports multiple blockchain flavors to integrate its NASDAQ financial framework, NFF. It will be working with Corda to implement that. So this was a simple go through Corda. Some of you might have never heard of this before, and this is gonna be interesting for a lot of people to check out. It has a pretty large community, a lot of people go through it. If we go through their Slack, it has 9,350 members that you can ask questions to. On their Stack Overflow, if we go through that, it's 2,144 questions. So if you have any questions about Corda and you're a developer, you gotta go through here. Out of curiosity, I wanna check their Twitter. Corda blockchain, 7,663 followers, and finally their YouTube. Also, let's check out careers. I'm wondering what they have for careers. 4,000 subscribers. That's all right for a corporation. Usually they don't really care about that. Blockchain careers, view career opportunities. All right. What do they have available? They have 39 results. They have a build engineer, developer, evangelist. Oh my God, I hate when companies use that term. Interns, DevOps, engineers, so in London, New York, Tokyo, Thailand, Singapore, Dublin, senior software engineer, senior technical product manager, solutions engineer, technical writer, venture developer, so sales engineer, project manager. Yeah, so they've got some stuff going on. Might be a cool company to work for, I'm not sure. And that's today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel and share this video on Reddit if you want to see this channel grow. So far, we have over 1,000 views and we are steadfast approaching 200 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're joining in every day or every two days or three days, however often you can, just know that you are part of the next wave because pretty soon, before you know it, we went from zero to 100 subscribers, 100 to 200, pretty soon 1,000 subscribers is around the corner. And then one day we're going to be Kubera. So thank you again. Bye.